Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create this beautiful battle scenery from the game World of Tanks Blitz. <laughs> I'm really excited! Today's video is brought to you by World of Tanks Blitz and we will also create this beautiful scenery from the same game. This means I choose the map Normandy as reference and I didn't copy it, I just took it as, well, reference and made my own version of the map to place two of the most popular tanks inside this beautiful battle scenery. But let's start with a stand with a beautiful landscape with the Normandy itself. We will create the beach, some landing ships and also some hills with tiny tiny buildings on, on top of it and of course two tanks inside it and um, it somehow reminds me of the Fortnite maps I created but in a way it it looks way more um, artistic. Yeah, I think it's the right word because, well, look at the color for the ocean. It's all very ochre-ish and very dirty and it all fits together quite perfect. But this video won't be about the landscape. Now I'm really excited to show you some of the tanks, but also the game in general. World of Tanks Blitz. As you know, I'm more of a strategic and tactical player. This is how World of Tanks Blitz got me. Authentic historical tanks speed vehicles from the alternative histories. I love it. No! Oh! I killed. <clears throat> Not again. This is what I found out. By using some smart tactics, you will master this game. Precision beats power. You don't need the most powerful tank, but the best spots on the map are just by not rushing into the fights, but by looking for possible hiding places where your enemies are. And never, never ever destroy an innocent snowman. Oops. I learned use your surroundings and to use each of the maps to your advantage. What World of Tanks Blitz makes outstanding for me is the huge amount of maps. Each match a different map. Very beautiful detail, you don't need to memorize them, it's just too much of them. But use your tank in a smart way together with your team. This will work on any map. Download the game by using my link down in the description. Get my special bonus for new players, Tank T1 E6 and 7 days premium account. Inside the game you find um, balloons and special gifts for every player because it's the 5th anniversary of this game. Congratulations for World of Tanks Blitz for being around for such a long time and developing for such a long time. I'm quite excited to have found this game. This map, well, you can compare it um, right next to the map while playing. I will add some, it's called dunes, I think, to make the sand a little bit more dry in between. But you have seen that there is also a darker stripe, right? Um, when the sand touches the water and now we are placing some of the grass and we should also go uphill where there's even more grass and um, we will also prepare all the areas for the buildings we have this nice farm we have this field corn field probably we have this windmill which is also quite characteristic for this map Normandy and we have some roads. This is a nice touch to the side of the map. Well, normally I don't, I would not really care about the side of a map, but this time I thought it would be just nice to see some of the ground and the earth underneath, underneath the grass. I take this printout as reference for the farm and also for the field. It makes it way more easy. 
Well, right now we have um, a tiny problem, which is the scale. I wanted to create the buildings as tiny as possible, but the tanks as big as possible. Therefore, I will choose a very huge tank that it can be seen quite easy on the map later when it's finished and we can focus on the buildings first. Let's add some ochre stripes and maybe we can even add some green. There is some grass on the field. It's still, it's harvest, harvested, is that correct? And there's a wall right next to the far farming houses. The wall should be a little bit broken, but on this scale every wall would look broken, I guess. This is the first way, the first road to the ocean. Well, it stops uh, on the hill. Let's try to get it really deep and also the field. And now we will work on the, ver on the very first building. This is the main farming house, I guess. It has a grey roof. We try to get a very thin layer of grey clay. I threw in some bright grey and a little bit of black to get, to get it a little bit darker. This is the only color you can't buy. There are so many colors out there, but this dark grey can't be bought. And this is unfortunate. <laughs> we will add some more details to the house, the entrance door, and maybe a little bit more mud, muddy area right next to the houses. This is another farming building. It's supposed to be a barn. Maybe there are some animals inside, who knows. And we will place it right there. Well, maybe we should move it to the left. A bush. Later we will also add some more vegetation. <gasps> Return of the toothbrush for grass effects, always great. And this will be the windmill. I don't really know much about windmills, but I would guess that this is the perfect location because it's getting a lot of wind right there. <laughs> so some more details and then we can start working on these bunkers. We have three in total of our piece of the map. In the original map Normandy in World of Tanks Blitz you have many many bunkers. Um, I think every few feet there there is a new bunker. Some of them look a bit different. This is the most characteristic one. I think it was built um, to defend the land from attacks from wa from the water um, or to defend the land uh, against these ships for example these landing boats I created two of these we don't have to create them very detailed because they are just in the backside and we will work on this very characteristic thing which I don't know what the name of it really is. Uh, I think it's uh, it was supposed to protect the beach from enemy tanks. And they are really characteristic for World War II sceneries uh, found on the beach. Well, this is our tank, the T-34 I am creating right now. And I try to match the color exactly like the one inside the game. Well, if you know the name of these metal structures on the beach um, against the tanks, please let me know, write it down in the comments. I have always wondered what these are called. Is it maybe something with um, raven feet? Well, you have seen that I choose the tank T-34. It's a Soviet one, but on this scale, I think it could be any tank. Um, for me, it was important on such a small scale to still contain some tiny details that it looks quite interesting. Here we go for the first tank. Now, well, the second one, we need a little bit of gray and silver and we will place it right onto the beach. And this poor guy will have a huge explosion. <laughs> 
this tank doesn't really have um, a reference. Well, at least I forgot about it. It's, it's a German one, I know this for sure, but I am not sure what the name is of this tank or could be. Maybe it's even too difficult to identify on such a small scale. This is a tree, I'm pretty sure about that. We will also place the second and third one and maybe one right to the windmill, some more bushes on the hill, we try to get it up. This is liquid clay for the ocean and after oven hardening we will use some transparent polish to get a really nice finish on this ocean line. And very carefully we will put these things into the... Oops! Freshly baked Normandy and freshly baked tanks. Happily nothing has happened while dropping the plate because turned out they are too tiny to be damaged. <laughs> they were protected from the side of the plate. Now we are assembling the shooting pipe of the first tank of the T-34 and glue it right onto it. It already looks quite nice. And this will be the second one, which is even more tiny, which makes it a little bit more difficult to create. And well, when placing onto the beach, yeah, maybe we should add some more wool for the explosion effect. It doesn't necessarily mean that this tank will be defeated. <laughs> it just means there's a huge explosion behind. Maybe this black smoking cloud coming from the broken tank. Now some transparent polish. This is the last working step. And look at that. I guess. That's it. Battle scenery from World of Tanks Blitz for the beautiful windmill. Before today's video is over, I would like to thank today's sponsor, World of Tanks Blitz. Go check out the game, download it by using my link down in the description to get all the benefits. I really hope you enjoyed this battle scenery we created in this video and well have a great weekend play with tanks and take care guys bye i'm wondering if you could also be used to do the harvest on the fields hmm.